Hi YouTubers, been a very long time since I've done one of these. Uh, I didn't want to do as much because I'd lost my job, made redundant. I was about a month out of work. They didn't pay me for the previous month that I worked, but I've got a job straight away. I'm working, got my redundancy, so the tank's back. I had to leave the tank while I weren't working, but it survived and uh, the Pulsing Zania did take over as you can see I've made a start the uh, right hand side now is getting the the left hand side has to be done uh, a local fish store well it's not a shop it's a local boat that does his own corals and frags uh, I did dealings with him he's happy to take big live rock off full of zernia and gives me clear rock and some of the rock has got stuff growing on it uh, if I can zoom in on this if I can find the zoom button I've got a piece of live rock there and there's some mushrooms growing on that I also got out of him this rock here with zernia really nice reddish coloured zernia to go with my green zernia which I've had to mess about with because of uh, zania growing in it and all sorts it's not as big but it is surviving I've got that there my SPS is still growing that's doing well now I separated them all from the main tank because of the zania put them on the sand bed so the zania couldn't get them same with the Duncan coral that's coming back got some green star polyps that's doing really nice my uh, other SPS that's doing alright I moved the branching hammer to here which is gonna well it's gonna be seen more where it was it was in the in the middle of Xenia which couldn't get seen very well my Medusa is thriving my green polyps button polyps are doing well but there's a bit of zania in there I need to get rid of uh, some of it pulls off if I'm lucky some I have to cut off and then burn what's remaining on the rock with a flame torch my red recordias the zania doesn't seem to affect that rock so they're okay my toadstool and to the side of it the green turbinara is doing well I've put a purple kenya tree up there so it makes this side what's more rocks look a bit more corally he also threw in a, a baby rose bubble tip which has moved it was behind that green toadstool there on the rock but it's moved so I'm just leaving it to find its own sweet spot I might move the purple Kenya tree because it's a little bit shaded there because of the overflow box I might move it slightly to the right so it gets a bit more light but things are on track again uh, I'll show you I treated myself I got a J-Bo 4 pump dorsa and what I've done, you can see at the back of there's a, a wee tank. I fill up that auto tops up through the uh, dorsa. I've worked, calculated it out, and it's roughly right. It it should do me oh, a good two week nearly of topping up the water. The bottle to the left is my calcium, and the one to the right is my magnesium. And this J bore is brilliant brilliant for its price I also treated myself and got a, a GABO DC sump pump and I could I used to run a maxi jet 1700 and plus I had to run a, a new jet 1200 for the uh, reactor whereas with this one pump it's running the sump and the reactor it's brilliant so I have got some nice pieces of equipment from JBO which I can't fault but 
I thought I'd do your video because it has been a very very long time so that's it for now I will be doing more work on the tank over the next few weeks and try and get it up to a certain standard so I'll catch you later